To open the Testo 870's battery cover, press lightly and slide it down. To remove the rechargeable battery, press the orange release catch and pull the battery down. The battery is now free and can be removed. To replace the battery, the orange release catch must be visible and pointing towards the lower end of the imager. In order for the battery to engage easily, position it in the battery compartment with the lower end flush to the opening and apply light upward pressure. The battery engages securely with a click. In order to replace the battery cover on the Testo 870's hand grip, the locking catches of the cover must be flush with the hand grip. Then apply light upward pressure to the battery cover. The Testo 870 is started up using the Escape on-off button. While the imager is starting up, you see the imager model name, the firmware version and your imager serial number. When you switch on the imager for the first time, you should set your local language, the desired temperature unit, the time and the date. To do this, press the five-way joystick to access the main menu. Under the menu item configuration, you can then set the three parameters. Operating the Testo 870 is easy and is done using three operating buttons. The instrument is switched on and off using the Escape on-off button. Use the five-way joystick to call up and navigate through the menu. The Escape button allows you to exit the menu items and to return to the original status. The Testo 870 also has a quick select button which can be programmed with various functions. The thermal images are saved using the trigger button on the front of the hand grip. The quick select button can be programmed with frequently needed functions such as the scale, the emissivity or the image gallery. To program the quick select button, move the five-way joystick to the right. In the display, the functions which can be allocated to the Quick Select button appear. Simply select the desired function and confirm with OK. On the right-hand side of the screen, below the scale, a symbol shows you which function is currently allocated to the Quick Select button. The USB socket is situated under the Testo 870's interface cover. With the help of this interface, the imager can be connected to a PC for the transfer of thermal images or to charge the battery. The battery can be charged either via your PC or using the power adapter. The Testo 870 has a large internal memory for 2000 images. In the Testo 870, as in all Testo thermal images, the emissivity and the reflected temperature can be set manually. The emissivity is either defined by the user or taken from a list of predefined emissivities for various materials. The reflected temperature can also be adjusted for each measurement. The Testo 870 has an integrated fixed focus. All measurement objects from a distance of half a meter are presented in sharp focus. Manual focusing of the thermal imager is no longer necessary. This allows you to concentrate fully on the measurement of the object. By pressing the trigger button once, the thermal image is saved. The Testo 870 offers three measurement functions which can be called up via the menu. In single point measurement, the temperature value at the center of the displayed image is shown. Using the hot and cold spot function, the warmest or coldest temperature value in the image section is displayed. The 
The Testo 870 also offers the Save JPEG and Full Screen Mode functions. The Save JPEG function is activated in the Configuration menu. When saving a thermal image, this function also saves it in JPEG format. With the Full Screen Mode, you can hide the scale superimposed at the right-hand edge of the display, allowing you to obtain an even larger overview on site. The Full Screen Mode function is selected in the menu under Configuration. Thermal images recorded with the Testo 870 can be viewed in the image gallery and analyzed on site. Open the image gallery from the menu and select the desired thermal image with OK. With a single point measurement, you can analyze the temperature values of each individual pixel in the stored thermal image. You can move the measurement point with the joystick. In addition to this, you can use the hotspot function to show the hottest temperature value in the thermal image and with the cold spot function the coldest. In order to highlight contrasts, you can also adapt the scale and the color palette. To change the color scale, push the joystick up or down. By pressing the Escape on off button, or by moving the joystick to the left or right, you have the possibility of saving the changes with OK.